This week we have been appreciating many things. Not just the beauty of our natural world, but finding the hidden gems buried in the things that we take for granted. Who would have thought a year ago we would not have given a second thought to opening the front door and going out in the van, or spending time with our family and friends. But this week we've been fortunate enough to do both, a truly uplifting boost to our mind, heart and soul. We were also asked to do a quick video of the town where we have lived for many years. We certainly have taken it for granted, not appreciating anything it has to offer. But doing this video this week, it is like we are seeing it for the first time through new eyes. I hope you enjoy the video. to have friends, the Platt family, and we used to both go and play in the puppet theatre. It's right in front of us if we just hold on tight. This vision that I saw is getting closer every dawn. of six million pounds, 20 miles from the sunbar, way out there. Obviously, COVID, nice outside seating area. No, we're not going there. Look, Mia wants to go to the pub, Dave. Dave, Mia wants to go to the pub. Five. I think we've got 
find it over there. Let's go. Sunday. Entering various got an outing well Dave did Dave managed to drive her which is better than the cricket see the moon side by side and through and through no limit to what we can do oh we well, you know what we have that's 
hold on tight Found what we're looking for in life Call us crazy but things are finally right With you and I the future is bright This is a wheel, wheel saga. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> uh, it's a long story, but anyway, um, top and bottom of it is that the alloy wheels, after about a year and a half, we noticed that the lacquer had like um, snail trails through them, even though the lacquer wasn't actually coming away. Underneath the lacquer, you could see these snail trails or snail tails or whatever um, so we brought it to fear and um, they agreed in the end to actually fit new wheels so um, this week we took it to a main dealer and um, they don't actually do tires so they subcontracted it to a tire company who came to their yard and changed the old wheels for the new wheels and then we came to collect it and that was that anyway up on arrival i noticed the tires looked a bit flat mm -hmm. so luckily you'd taken a new air pump yeah so we pumped up the tire we could see that the tires were the wheels were really really dirty the new wheels uh, they were covered in mud and handprints and grit but anyway we pumped the tires up and we brought it back and I also noticed actually when we were pumping the tires up that the valves they used to be made out of metal on the original wheels and the new valves they'd fitted were rubber ones like car tire ones. The tire pressures were 55 when we uh, picked it up so we pumped them back up to where they should be which is um, front of 65 and the rears is 75. The rubber valve tires, uh, sorry the rubber valves are only maximum 55. 65 psi so we drove back with the rears being well above the limit for those valves so i told the garage and they um, got in touch with the tire company who said oh dear we didn't have any metal valves we'll sort it out and come out to your house the new lacquer has been scratched all over um on all four wheels so um, we're probably going to be in a worse state than with the original wheels. Bit of a nightmare really. Now we're waiting to see what they're all going to do. So I'm not too sure if you can see there, but you can see all the scratch marks in the, in the lacquer. Same all the way around the rim there, look probably all the way through there. Um, and then, you know, if you just keep going around, you see it. So on that bombshell, we'll say goodbye for this week. Hope you liked it. Don't forget to like and subscribe. See you next week. Bye.